So today on my channel, The Keto Saga, I'm going to be giving you guys my reply to a viewer comment on one of my videos, The Beef and Butter Fast. I wanted to give you guys my reply because I really think it's important that you guys understand that there's more than one source of information and the information that I provide to you guys is based on my own personal research but I'm not saying that I'm going to be a hundred percent right all the time I'm not going to say that there's not other pieces of information that I'm missing and so whenever that something like that comes up or anytime there's I'm questioned on the information that I give you guys I want to be sure to um, kind of give you guys an update on on why I said what I said and um, if I'm wrong I will definitely tell you guys so you guys get that accuracy. Let's get to it. So here is the comment on the beef and butter fast. You guys can check it out yourself but I just thought we'd start with that so you guys know kind of what it is. Um, first of all though before I do that let me just tell you the beef and butter fast. Okay so beef and butter fast is pretty much ground beef and butter for like three to five days. That's it. There's no vegetables, nothing. The issue in the ketogenic diet with this is that people think that it's a quick way to break through a weight loss plateau and they, um, they just look for it as a quick fix. So <laughs> the issue with the ketogenic diet and no vegetables is that you are taking in a lot of extra fat and you're not getting the vitamins and minerals in order to flush that fat out of your system, okay? So the concern with that is a fatty liver. It's a big concern, okay? And what is a fatty liver? A fatty liver is basically a liver that is completely congested by all of the triglycerides and extra fat that you're taking in. And it's more fat than what your liver can basically process and metabolize. Okay, so it just kind of sticks around in pockets, okay, around your liver and it, it's just, it's not good. So one of the ways to decrease a fatty liver is of course to lose weight. Ketogenic diet is perfect for that, but there have been numerous versions floating around and different things, beef and butter fast, egg fast, carnivore diet, uh, the paleo keto, the all different kinds of things. And so my beef and butter fast is based on my own personal research and um, my experience over the past almost two years. So that is where my video came from. But first, so here is the comment that was left on that video. The claim that the fatty liver and the vegetables is completely wrong. When you have a high quality meat, you get lots of vitamins and minerals. The only concern is to take extra mineral supplements if you are getting into ketosis. If you stay into, in ketosis all the time and are well fat adapted, extra minerals are usually not necessary while they still may, may be helpful. Okay, so thank you to the commenter, by the way. I love it when people interact with me and we can have a discussion about certain things because it's always good to talk to your peers and, and people going through this and people who have other experiences in you. So here's the thing. Here is my, my reply um, on why this comment was both right and wrong. Well, not really wrong, but there's just more that goes into it. First of all, okay, when you get vegetables and you're getting the minerals and um, the potassium, magnesium, all that stuff, really super important to um, metabolizing and moving all that stuff around your body, calcium, so calcium doesn't deposit and whatever. So it's really important to get those vitamins and those minerals. Now, here's why this comment was correct. Yes, if you get high quality meat, you can get enough minerals, vitamins, whatever you need to metabolize all of the extra fat that you're bringing in without the vegetables, okay? So that's completely correct. Here's the but. You have to have the high quality grass-fed, organic, pasture-raised, $7 a dozen, eggs, um, straight from the butcher, like organ meats, in order to have enough of the vitamins and minerals that you would need to basically do the same thing as vegetables. So in general, you might be perfectly okay, depending on how well your body adapts to it. 
but let's face it, not, not most of us can go to the store and spend eight or nine dollars a pound for organ meats or even the highest quality ribeye steaks. We can't afford it. And most of us don't go that route. When we hear beef and butter or we think carnivore, we're going to our supermarket and getting the cheapest pack of meat that we can. We're not thinking about where it came from. We're not thinking about what it, it was eating during its life. We're not thinking about what it, you know, how the living conditions were, if it was getting sunshine, if it was eating, you know, organic grass, if it was well treated. We're not thinking of any of that. We're not thinking of the seven or eight dollar brown organic pasture raised um, eggs that are in the supermarket. We're grabbing the cheapest thing of a dozen eggs that we can get. So most of us, even if we choose to do the carnivore diet or eliminate vegetables out of our diet, are not getting the same amount of vitamins and minerals that we would if we were getting high quality organ meats like liver and brain and tissues and all that other good stuff. So there is a difference between going to the store and picking up a steak out of the, the butcher section, whatever it's called, and actually outsourcing our food to make sure that we're getting the highest quality. I know a lot of people don't have time with that. I know a lot of people can't afford that. And a lot of people just take shortcuts and get what they can't afford. You know, I, I mean, it's really up to you guys. I was watching a video and it was Dr. Berg and he was interviewing someone um, about the carnivore diet. He even admitted that the carnivore diet works for some people. And if you're getting what you need and your body is fueling yourself through the right, the right sources, then you're probably going to be fine. But he said um, for people with autoimmune diseases and digestive issues, especially, sometimes the vegetables can actually irritate them. So it, those are the types of people that he would actually recommend the carnivore diet for. Um, just make sure you know that you are either supplementing or getting those high, high quality meats. So anyway, that was kind of, you know, my my response to that comment and I would love to go over more of it with you if you guys need any more information just let me know down in the comments so um, thank you guys for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel I'm trying to bring you guys as much accurate information and if there's anything that's ever questionable I will definitely dig into it and see what I can find for you so um, please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video